Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, hi, with Shono here, about to give you an iPad Pro 12.9 inch third generation unboxing video. Now, as you guys can see here, I've actually been a fan of the iPad Pro. This is the first generation 12.9 inch. It was super heavy and a little bit uncomfortable to use with the OtterBox case. This is the 10.5 inch second generation that I just have been loving, really powerful, but inside here, this box, we have the third generation iPad Pro. I already have the OtterBox case ready for it. And here we also have the USB-C to digital AV adapter. This showed up like 8.45 in the morning. So let's unbox this and show off the iPad. And here it is. There it is, the lovely iPad Pro 12.9 inch. And there you can see one terabyte. So this is gonna have six gigs of RAM up from four. Sorry about my focus not being the greatest there, but I guess that's good to get blurriness out. But there you have it, one terabyte iPad Pro. Let's also crack this open and you guys can see all its glory as I turn it on for the first time. And on this one, they actually have a pull tab, so you don't have to razor blade the packaging. This would be a lot easier to do if I had an extra set of hands to do it. And that box just looks beautiful. All right, so there's the iPad Pro. There's the beautiful display, nice and cold courtesy of FedEx. And yeah, that definitely feels a lot lighter in the hand. And thankfully, it does not appear bent at all. So that looks beautiful. And you see the little plastic bit there for the Apple Pencil? I don't know if it's compatible with the first generation Apple Pencil, which I own. But now for the unboxing of the $1,700 iPad Pro. Looks amazing. Again, this is hard to do with one hand, so pardon my bad filming. This would be a lot better if I had two hands, but there it is. The iPad Pro. Button is still on the top. All right, so now we got it booted up. I got a charging cable to it. I don't know if I just had to hold the power button down for about five, six seconds, but there you can see generation one, two, and three iPad Pro. That is just a beautiful screen. So swipe up to open. Now this is the first one that does not have a home button. And right away it even says set up new iPad. How in the world does it know I have a new iPad? That is some funky stuff. If you have an iPhone or iPad running iOS 11 or later, bring it nearby to sign in automatically. That is pretty damn cool. So let's continue. I don't know what type of technician, and you can see, hold your new iPad up to the camera. Position this uh, image in the frame of your other iPad. Hold your new iPad up to the camera. Position the pad. Oh, so you have to put this iPad over it. That is some funky technology. I don't know how they can implement that. But, damn, that's pretty cool. That's definitely like NFC. Now, I don't know if the OtterBox case gets in the way. So, we're going to take this off really quick. So, I'm going to have to get the SIM card out of here. Okay, so I couldn't actually get it to work. So, we're going to sign into the network. One thing you can definitely appreciate about the 12.9 inch iPad is the keyboard. It actually has the numbers in, whereas the 10.5 inch, when you actually put something in, does not have that and you actually have to hit the one, two, three. So that's a nice little perk of having a 12.9 inch iPad. Definitely a fan of that. So we're signing into the network now and we're gonna have to transfer everything over, which is gonna be a pain in the butt. But yeah, we are set up. So now we can hit next on it. And it may take a few minutes to activate your iPad. Now, this is a cellular model as well. And the SIM card tray is right there on the bottom right. So we're going to have to set that up as well. And the SIM card is actually on the bottom right on this iPad. And this also has a SIM card. So I have three versions of LTE iPad. So it takes a few minutes to initialize the iPad. We're going to hit data and privacy. We can set up the face ID later. And we're not going to set up a passcode right away. 
And you can restore from other things and don't transfer apps. We're going to do all that manually. And we're going to sign in with our Apple ID. This feels really good in the hand. Like, it almost feels bad putting a case on this. Okay, so we're signed into our new iPad. We're going to agree to the terms. Does anybody actually read that? Let's take it a few minutes to set up the device again. While we're doing that, we're going to get the OtterBox. And I must say, the OtterBox probably weighs as much as the iPad, if not more. So it is going to add some weight. And what settings can we actually customize? Uh, we can install updates manually. Definitely enable location. We'll set up Siri later because I don't really like using it. Get a weekly report. We can continue with that. Analytics, app analytics, true tone display. No. Looks way better without. And I'm going to go with light. And swipe up to go home. Quick access to the dock. So it's basically telling you all the new stuff. Uh, quickly access controls and welcome to iPad. So yeah, there it is right there. This iPad looks beautiful in the hand. Again, I really wish I didn't put a case on it, but I always put a case on all my iPads. So we do have the Defender OtterBox case. I'm going to take the SIM card out of this right here and then put it into here. And we are going to put this video up and I'm going to set up this one terabyte iPad. Also in the box is a USB-C cable. It's probably only a foot along with the Apple charger. All right, so there you can see in all of its glory, we have three iPads, the first gen pro, the second gen pro, and the third gen pro, which is a beast at one terabyte. And every single iPad is supported by OtterBox. Yes, I reversed two of the three. But you can see that when I case my stuff, it's all OtterBox. All right, so it's been a little over 24 hours. I have my iPad set up. Obviously, the OtterBox case is set up. I got a little injury from work. We have the USB-C uh, Digital AV adapter. This is what I made my Elgato uh, videos with on my other iPad. This one also has a USB uh, drive here, so you can hook up like hard drives, flash drives. Very convenient. And if you guys go right into the settings and in the About section... If you go in the settings and about section, you guys can see I have 1.02 terabytes. Normally, devices will actually take from the capacity. This one actually gives you more. On my other iPad, I must have had about 480 gigs free out of about 512. This one actually gives me the full 1.02 terabytes. So kudos to Apple on that. Now, you guys might be looking, you're paying $1,700 for an iPad Pro. Yes, I am. But I also knew what I was getting into. This device is way faster. I've actually tested out WWE Mayhem. Two second load times between matches. Pretty insane. I'm also going to be playing Mortal Kombat Mobile and Injustice Gods Among Us 1 and 2 in the future just to test it out. But we might be playing other games. I might be testing other things. I might even try to do photo and video editing from this. So I hope you guys enjoy this iPad Pro. It looks great. You can see that it even has a spot for the pencil as well which I will be buying within the next couple of weeks. And camera definitely does not show the bump because of the OtterBox case. Again, this thing probably adds a good pound, pound and a half to the device, but always protect your devices. The $130 you spend not having to really worry about damaging your screen because it's protected by a thick layer of plastic, definitely worth it. Thank you guys for watching my unboxing of the iPad Pro. Have a wonderful day, kids. Oh my goodness! That'll be heard all around the world! Oh, this is it! This is it! I know I saw it, but I still don't believe I saw it! www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Show now. Subscribe, bitches!